Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to use Pinterest and I'm gonna cover the mobile app in this video and it works on Android and iOS and it's the exact same app on both. So I'll just use my iPhone here, but if you have an Android, you could follow along. Now, if you're brand new to Pinterest, just think of it as a digital scrapbook. So the way Pinterest works is there are these things called boards. So imagine just a board that you would pin things to in the physical world, right? If you have a board on your wall and you pin your favorite things to it, this is a digital version of that. So the website, Pinterest.com, I covered that in a completely different video. So if you wanna learn how to use it on the computer, watch that. I'll put that in the description and then I'll show you the mobile app in this video. And as I'm recording this, Pinterest actually has 460 million monthly active users and it's been around since 2009. So jump into the App Store or the Google Play Store, look for Pinterest, download and open the app. And some of the biggest categories, by the way, on this app that you could explore are things related to motivation, to food recipes, fitness, mood boards. And I'll show you some of those things, travel, eating. And go ahead and sign up for the Pinterest app. Now I've already signed up. That account creation process is very straightforward. And I covered that on the desktop version but I'll show you on the app what you're looking at. It's really simple for different pages. Your homepage, this is where it's gonna give you different videos and different pictures based on your interest. So as I'm on the homepage, if I go to pick new topics, depending on what kind of topics you pick on this page, the homepage will update what you're looking at. Okay, so I picked a few different categories, so do the same thing, and then it creates different homepages based on what you picked. So if you're brand new, this will not look the same for you as it will for me. But to look at any of these, these are called pins, right? Every one of these is called a pin. You could just scroll down. And if you like something, if you click on it like this, you could go ahead and save it, or you could go ahead and visit that website. A lot of pins lead to a website which makes Pinterest very, very useful for lead generation for businesses. And then if you keep going, you could see more like it. You could add comments also, or add a picture as a comment. So those are right over here if you wanted to do that. And I'll explain saving in a little bit once we go through the rest of the app. So these are pins. You could explore any of them here by simply just clicking on any of them, looking at it here, seeing the comment section, visiting the website, and seeing more like it. Then you have search. Now the search bar is extremely powerful. Pinterest is also a search engine where you could come up with ideas. So for example, I'm working on my basement. So I could look up basement ideas, just like searching anything on Google, and I will get a bunch of different pins showing a bunch of different basements, right? So if I like this one, I could click it. Again, I could visit the website to learn more. I could save it. Some of them have product details, like this one shows product details, where I could link out to this website. Okay, so this is the search page, and there's an explore tab, and there's a shop tab, because you could then use Pinterest as a shopping platform, right? So much to offer here. Then you got the messages tab here. Let me go there. This shows updates, right? The updates based on who I'm following here. And I have messages too, and I will see different messages here, and I could draft a new message. So with messages, it's great because you could send a message to anyone else on Pinterest. Now, just like any social media platform, which Pinterest is one of the biggest, you could follow different creators here. So sometimes when you tap on a creator here on their pin, you could see a follow tab. If you press follow and you follow someone, what ends up happening is they go to your following tab. So you see right there, for you is Pinterest making suggestions, but following is posts based on who you pressed follow on. So this is really useful to look at things a little bit differently and based on your following instead of what Pinterest recommends. Okay, so that's as a user of the app, but what if you wanted to actually become a creator and post your own pins and your own boards too? How do you do that? Go to your profile page, that's the very last option over here. And here, if you press your profile picture on top, if you added one, it's gonna show you your profile. So it's gonna show you your profile picture, your profile name, the website you're sending people to, and the at sign is how people could find you. So at Halfinity is how you could find this, which is a new profile here. 
and you can see how many people are following you and how many people you're following, okay? To create your own pin, if you press this plus sign here, the first thing you want to do is you want to create a board. So if you press board here, you could create your own first board, okay? So I'll name this tutorials, for example, and collaborators, you could add other people to contribute to this board too, so it doesn't have to just be you. So if you press this plus sign, it will get you access to other people that you're following and you could add them as collaborators. I'm gonna be the only one in this case, so I'll keep it this way. And you can make the board secret, meaning it won't be found on Pinterest using search or any other way. In this case, I am making this public, so I'll press create. That's gonna create a board. Now, inside of each board, it says save some pins to your board, right? So the board, imagine just a whiteboard that you have to pin items to. So you could go ahead and pin things by pressing the plus sign on them, or I'll exit this right here. So you see, it says find more ideas. You have the plus sign on the bottom. If you skip that on the last page, press it, and then it lets you either create your own pin, or you could add a pin from the ones you see over here. So I'll just show you as an example. I'll click this one, press the plus sign, and he added this pin to my board and it's letting me follow that page if I want to. So if I go back now, you see this is my board, it's called tutorials, and here's the pin there. Now someone else made this pin that I just selected, but I can make my own. So let's do that next. Press plus and press create pin. So you really have two options, create a board first, then you could create a bunch of pins inside of that board. You can have also lots of different boards for lots of different ideas, right? You either take a picture, so if I chose the picture option right here, and I took a picture of the Android app, and use this picture, okay, I could create the pin this way. So I'll show you, you give it a title, description, and then link out to a website if you like. So that's really, really useful for creating pins, just taking a picture. Let me go back, you could also press the globe icon right here, and it's gonna let you share a link from a website and use that as a picture. So if I look up Hoffinity here, it will do a Google search and I could go ahead and select that, the website, and save that as a pin, right? So if I save this, it's gonna let me go ahead and pick a picture from the website. I'll pick the logo, press next, and then I wanna save it to a specific board, right? Tutorials is the one I just created. I could always create a board from here too. I'll press tutorial here, press next, and there we go, we just saved the website as a pin. That's what the globe icon was. So now, let me go back to that board. You can see there's the website, and there's that pin that I saved in the very beginning. Now back to the board page, you have few options on top too. You could add notes, you could organize your board, and you could actually take pins from one board to another board too. Or you could press more ideas here to basically add more ideas to that board. So I just added one more here. Let's go back now, I should have three different pins on this board. Now, where do I see all my boards? I just have to go back. If you go back, you see all your different boards and all your pins that you ever pin actually create your very first board that you see over here, right? So this shows me a bunch of different pins. That's all my pins all in one board. You could search any pin here and it will do its best to search any of these boards. And again, back to this page, anytime you could press the plus sign, create a board or create a pin and assign it to a board. So it's really that simple. The website and the app is comprised of boards and inside of those boards are pins that are related to that topic. Very, very basic to use. And if you wanna create pins that are more advanced than what you could do here with taking pictures, you could use a app called Canva and Canva lets you design really elaborate kind of pins. And I have a tutorial to Canva as well if you've never used it before. But once you learn Canva, which is also very easy to use, you can make pins that really stand out inside of Pinterest. Especially if you're gonna use this for business, which is again a great business tool, I recommend learning Canva. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure you watch the other Pinterest video that shows you how to use it on the computer. Again, I make these type of videos every single week on this channel. And I hope to catch you next time. Thanks for watching.